I never really talked too much about my writing, really. You know, it was a private thing. I didn't really care to share it. Uh, but at a certain point, even though I knew our editor had a policy of not publishing poetry, as most papers do, I took a shoebox of my unpublished poems and with great fear and trembling, literally, I went to Tom Henyon's office. He gingerly raised up a poem and read it, and he raised up a couple more, and the expression on his face changed some way. He published something almost every week. I have to give him credit for encouraging me at a time when there was very little encouragement for poets, most particularly spinster poets. You know, I was expected to write uh, poems that rhyme June with moon and heart-rending verses of unrequited love. I don't think he was expecting what he got. Jelly Matthews never used to appreciate the beautiful tree, wasn't grateful for bird songs and train whistles. Now he praises the Lord for a lot of strange favors since he got saved from deafness of the spirit. Yesterday he bounded up on his mother's porch and set the wind chimes clanging. Praise the Lord for Johnny Cash, he exclaimed to her. Man in black, he knows the gospel, beats it out on his guitar better than a preacher could. He came to the fair last night. I saw 5,000 people stomping, yelling wild. Mama, when he sang Folsom Prison Blues in the spirit, a revival broke out. You know, Johnny Cash, like Wilma Elizabeth, was also Native American. Uh, Johnny Cash uh, was also part Cherokee, like uh, Wilma. Yeah, yeah uh, well, that's a lot of people who are mixed blood, uh, who don't normally identify themselves. Heritage is in how you evoke what is a value concerns of family, community, land. Those references speak about her heritage. Everyone should have a lover, and I had two of them, now locked in memory. At nine, it was the lazy Cimarron, with orange water and huge catfish the color of mud. At 17, I found another, in far-off California, a tumbling crystal river with the holy name Merced. <laughs>